So, your working 2 remote jobs or plan to start. Probably not just for a few months, but as a long-term strategy. And a long-term strategy requires long-term setup. I can tell you that your current desk, your current single laptop, it's not designed for the demands of two full-time jobs long-term for the years. You should focus much more on comfort, efficiency, and the most importantly, security. Here are the right questions. What is the most secure setup? How do I switch between the jobs instantly because that's what you are going to do every day multiple times? How do I build the physical setup that will not burn me out. This video is about building a physical setup that will allow you to be overemployed safely and comfortably for the long term how. So let's get started. My name is Alexey, I'm a software developer and I've been overemployed for more than half a year while working on two jobs in an 8 hours window. And I have built my physical setup exactly for that purpose. When I was building my setup, I was considering speed, durability and comfort for the long term overemployment. So we are speaking about two plus years. If you are interested about the whole overemployment concept, I have the full video about that, but now we are focusing on the physical setup. And disclaimer, we are considering only full-time jobs. Why? Again, you will find in a full video. So let's speak about all available options. Basically, there are only three. The first one is one single powerful PC. You will serve the jobs on the same software. The second option is hybrid laptops. You will have two laptops, but you will work on both projects on both of them. And the last option is having two separate laptops. The difference is that one laptop is only per one job, so you never intervene anything. There is a right use case for each of those configurations. But first, we need to speak about key requirements. Obviously, the first one and most important one is replaceability. Because if you decide to switch one of the jobs, your config should allow that switch to be easy. We want our setup to be adaptable for the new laptops, for the different operation systems, for the different connectors, cables, resolutions, and all that stuff. The next metric is the speed of switching. If someone you calls you or require an immediate answer, you should be able to answer quickly. So the setup should allow you to switch fast and deliver. We should also concern the performance. Speed of computing is also very important because you don't have much time and if you can save few seconds while building a project, we need those seconds. The setup should also address parallelism because parallel meetings is something that you will have inevitably. It is such a big topic that I even have a separate video about time management while being overemployed. But in essence, you are looking for a setup that will allow you to be delivering on both meetings in parallel and not get busted in the same time. And lastly, the scalability. Because there might be a moment that you feel like two jobs is not enough for you and you need a third one. So your setup should be scalable to allow you to place the third laptop. And because this is only for full-time remote jobs, we don't consider some parameters like weight. We don't consider the weight of our laptops. We don't care how heavy they are because they will always stay at our desk. And also it's not important how big your laptop is because you will place it only once and you will not carry it in your backpack every day. So this setup is static unless you don't want like me to travel while actually working multiple jobs. Because I was traveling, I also had to count on those parameters and basically you just need to be ready to pay a premium to also have your setup small and lightweight. But let's not focus on that because that's a separate topic. So again, you have three possible setups and which one should you choose? The first option is one personal computer. This is the fastest option because you have everything running in the same operation system, so it's easy to switch the tabs, you don't have to, you know, replug your monitor every time. But there are several reasons why I don't recommend this. This is not really adaptable and scalable. What if your both jobs communicate in Teams, like Microsoft Teams? How do you open two Teams and log in with the two different accounts? You are going to struggle just with that. And also we'll have only one local environment, so it's very hard to test some features you will have constantly intervening projects that are going to occupy the same ports. And I'm not even considering parallelism, because imagine you have two meetings in parallel. How do you actually make that work on one single PC? Risks of getting busted by sharing the wrong screen are highest. So that gets us to the second setup two hybrid laptops. This is the most suitable if you have hybrid roles, meaning you have to go to the office from time to time. Or maybe you love to travel. And that was my case. First, I had to go to the office every week, but I also love to travel. I was dreaming about being a digital nomad, so I needed my setup to be flexible. And I didn't want to carry two separate laptops every time I go somewhere. So I needed my single laptop to be adaptable to work on multiple jobs. While working only on one laptop, you have all the drawbacks as in the first case, but you are able to actually now differentiate and actually split the work when you need that. But again, that is still very risky option. Which brings us to the last option, two separate laptops. The safest one and the one, the single one I really recommend. 
you don't share any work amount your laptops, you don't share the credentials, you don't risk anything. So go for this option always, especially if your company is using VPN that might track your traffic. And because you can switch between last two options, we are ended up with having two laptops. Again, it is possible to have a hybrid mode and I never got busted while working more than half year, but I have to say I was very close a few times because I didn't turn off the camera and suddenly started to speak and my colleagues could see that. So, oh, sorry, I forgot to unmute myself and made up something on the go that I wanted actually to say. But you don't want that risk. My actual setup was one dedicated PC and one laptop. Now on the screen you can see the configurations of my PC, but it's not very important because what you're focusing on is the speed of commuting and the rest you don't really care, so you don't need 4090 graphical card. For the laptop I had a Chinese budget option. It's called Machinic Machinator A. It's not the sharpest knife in a driver, but it was doing its job, even though it was very noisy when compiling. Now we have two laptops, but that's only the peak of the iceberg. You need a lot more to work it as a whole setup and we should start with the sound. Obviously, because we are counting with a scenario of two parallel meetings, we need two pairs of headphones. I made it work by having one pair of headphones that is covering my whole ears and one small pair of airplugs that I'm actually able to hide in my headphones. So at the same time, I can wear two pairs of them, allowing me to listen to two parallel meetings. Moving from the sound to an image, I recommend having one big screen, anything not less than 27 inches. I went with a premium version of 32 inches Samsung Odyssey G7, but there is a danger to switching to 4K monitors because you will not be able to work on a lower resolution later. It's just inching my eyes now. Then obviously you need the mouse and keyboard. Then you also need a place where you will plug everything, and for that you need KVM switch. That is the thing that will allow you to switch very fast between your laptops. So basically it is a must have for working on multiple jobs. I went with the cheapest option of Ugreen and I'm pretty happy with that even though it doesn't allow me to plug in monitor. So for me in order to switch I have to switch first my accessories and then the monitor. You can theoretically make it work even without the QEM switch if your keyboard and the mouse is supporting the fast switch option. Mine does but I have to say it's not very convenient and it's still better to press only one button. You can upgrade this setup by having a dock hub. I had one provided by the company, so that's why I didn't buy the QVM switch that would also include the dock functions. But of course, ideally you're looking for a combination, because that will allow you to not only switch the accessories but the monitor and also have the direct internet connection. And because you have so many stuff, you need to save the space on your table. And for that, you need PC monitor arms. First of all, it frees up all the space on your desk, but also it allows you to use your laptop as a second monitor. I went with the cheapest option from the Ergotron, which would be able to hold my 9kg monitor. And that is the core of the setup that will allow you to switch very fast while also keeping an order on your desk. And lastly, as a bonus, because you saw my standing desk, I will also mention it. I built my custom desk setup a long time ago when I didn't even have much money, so I just ordered the standing desk mechanism from AliExpress and then just mounted the desk on it. The desk itself is 160 to 80 centimeters and I don't recommend any smaller desk because it might be a problem to fit two laptops and big monitor on it. So that is pretty much the complete setup. It's not just about what works today, but about having the setup that is fast, comfortable and secure for the years. So I would treat that as a long-term investment in your career. Now I want to hear from you. As you think of, of your own long-term setup, what is the biggest bottleneck or the challenge you are facing right now? Is it the space on the desk or just having a slow machine? Or the whole technical challenge of having two laptops working in parallel? Share your biggest challenge in the comments below. Let's discuss the possible solutions together. And as usual, if you watched until here, those videos might be useful for you. And finally, please choose your path, take your step and get paid.